Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for the month of August of 2021. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So y'all know the deal. Uh, I'm available for private readings if anybody's interested. All the information is in the description box below. Uh, if you would like to support the channel, I highly recommend that you check us out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. I do offer extra readings there. All of the extra stuff goes there. The content, the topic of the content, whatnot, whatever, is constantly evolving. So um, if you're interested in extra content or you just want to support the channel, I highly recommend that you join us over on Patreon, yeah? Make sure to keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. The roles can be reversed here, meaning that we can be talking to a cross watcher, so keep that in mind. Also, just because this is a message that's coming through for the month of August of 2021, it does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time, okay? This could be something that happens off in the future, or we could be talking about something from the past that you're ready to process at this moment, yes? Excellent, Cancer. Let's just get in straight into it. I've got your pre-shuffle here for you. So it seems, Cancer, that um, some of you are taking, or many of you, or whomever this message is for, you are taking a message or a lesson in, um, yeah, you're taking a lesson in boundaries to heart. You have the Seven of Wands, which is a representation of boundaries, but you have that with the Three of Swords, and then you also have that with the Four of Swords, okay? At the bottom of the deck, underneath everything, you do have the Hanged Man with Temperance and the King of Cups, okay? So check it out, Cancer. What I feel like is happening for you at this moment, maybe this month or whenever this message or reading resonates for you, you're in a moment of solitude, is what I just heard. Um, I really kind of get, I, with this Seven of Wands energy, I feel like you're not really trying to talk to anyone. You're not trying to associate with anyone. You're not trying to get any sort of opinion, um, outside opinion. I feel like you're processing a lot of heartbreak or a lot of pain, or you're just going through an emotional cleansing right now. And so you're keeping some walls up, you're keeping some barriers up. Oh, uh, in terms of any sort of new heartbreak that may enter into your life, like you're obviously, you're definitely not even trying to let anything new in. But that, I mean, I mean, anybody could be doing that, right? But specifically for you, Cancer, I feel like you're not trying to let anything new in right now because you are in the process of, pro of processing uh, emotional situations from the past. Uh, uh, three of Swords, Four of Swords. It's like you're, con you're currently contemplating, sitting down, taking some time away, resting and healing and clearing your mind. And specifically what I'm getting with the Four of Swords is coming to a conscious understanding of your feelings in terms of some sort of heartbreak or difficult emotional situation that you've dealt with in the past. Three of Swords. And this doesn't have to be anything too far or too distant in the past. This could be something from the recent past, something that maybe just happened a week ago, a day ago, an hour ago, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, you're still, mm, okay, for some of you, I feel like you're overanalyzing. I did just hear that. Uh, some of you are overanalyzing. Um, but here's the thing. Either, Cancer, you're in the process of getting here or you already have gotten here. Some of you actually already have gotten here. And so with this four of swords energy, it's not about processing the energy any longer or trying to come to another or a deeper understanding of it. At this point, for some of you, it's just about taking some time away to heal from it. Because there is either a change in perspective that is on its way, that is being cultivated in this energy for you, or you've already reached this understanding. For some of you, for whomever here is overthinking the situation, it's really much more simple than you're trying to make it out to be. Like, it doesn't have to be that complicated is a message I'm getting specifically for anybody that's overthinking whatever it is you're analyzing or dealing with right now. The Hanged Man with Temperance and the King of Cups. So also what I'm getting with this energy, Cancer, is that you've come to a realization or you've come to a deeper understanding of something. You've come to a changed perspective, an enlightened perspective that is bringing greater balance in your life. But with this King of Cups, Cancer, also with this Seven of Wands, I feel like you're putting certain boundaries in place and maybe... Um, uh, enacting, putting into practice some tough lessons that you've learned recently and putting up some boundaries in order to make sure that you are 
serving balance in your life. And for some of you, the King of Cups is representing doing something that you know is right, but is not easy. So this could be putting up boundaries or barriers between you and certain friends or you and certain family members, that kind of energy, okay? Ultimately, it all is meant to serve your highest good and it is serving your highest good. I like this for you, Cancer. This is good energy. This is good energy. All right, let me reshuffle here and we are going to get into the rest of this reading for you for the month for this month or whenever this message hits you reaches you whenever this guidance resonates for you yeah i'm gonna give this five shuffles for you cancer and we will see what we've got for you for the rest of this message yeah here we go this is one two for my cancerians Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August of 2021. Please, Spirit, what messages do we have for Cancer this month? This is three. Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for a complete picture of what could be the message for you this month. Also, if you're looking for love messages, check your Venus sign. This is four. And this is five. For my Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, oops, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Cancer, let's cut the deck here. Boop. All right, overall energy for you, Cancer. We have strength. Yes, this. I feel like you're being very, very strong this month or in this energy, okay, in this time period, whenever this resonates for you, Cancer, you're being very, very strong. For some of you specifically, what I'm getting with strength here is that you are in an energy where like, you're in an energy of if you were to allow yourself to pop off right now, shit would be on. Like on like motherfucking Donkey Kong. But you're not doing that. You're keeping yourself contained. You're keeping yourself checked, actually, is what I heard. You're keeping yourself in check here, which is a good thing. And that is a representation of the balance and the level of maturity, emotionally, mentally, whatever, that you've come to at this point in your life. Because in other cases in the past, you might have been you might have been feeling some type of way and just popped right off and not even giving a damn about it. But now you're recognizing with that King of Cups energy that I got in the beginning of the reading for you in the pre-shuffle, there is a level of emotional responsibility. Ooh, emotional responsibility and emotional maturity that you are really holding on to. And that's an excellent thing. This is an excellent place for you to be right now, Cancer. Underneath the strength card is the Empress, which is funny because the Empress came out. Well, well she didn't come out, but she showed up in the pre-shuffle, I didn't mention it. The Empress is representing unconditional love, um, acceptance. There is a strong level of balanced feminine energy coming through for you in this Empress energy. And there's almost a masculine level to it. Like it's really interesting, Cancer, because what I'm feeling from this Empress energy here is a level of determination to create and to grow and expand, but also there are strong boundaries that I'm picking up for you in this Empress energy. And that those boundaries are coming through because there is something that you're looking to grow or expand or develop, and you're determined to nurture that into place, which is translating into you having a certain level of boundaries to make sure that happens. Underneath the Empress is the Fool, and then underneath the Fool is the Six of Wands. Beautiful energy for you, Cancer. I really like this. You have all major arcana, except for the six of wands here. You have all major arcana in your overall energy right now. Uh, that's really beautiful. You're moving forward in a new direction-ish. Uh, this might be a direction you've always wanted to move in. I'm hearing that for you for sure. Then uh, the energies of the Empress are supporting that for you. Again, there's a strong determination to bring something to life here for you, Cancer. Whether that be you actually physically getting pregnant or there is actually something that you want to grow, develop, expand, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be an actual person, okay? It could be a business. It could be a side project. It could be a creative project. Whatever it is for you, it doesn't matter. What matters is that it feels like there is a strong level of determination to get this done. 
beautiful. And that could have everything to do with this healing process that you are going through, or at least having these boundaries, keeping pain, heartbreak, destruction out. Because those are not energies that would be conducive to you developing something, nurturing something into life, right? Those energies are not going to help. So that's where those boundaries come in, in terms of not allowing any sort of drama or extra bullshit into your life that would keep you from developing or growing or, or, or producing something. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's get into the rest of your reading here. We're going to get into the first half and the second half of your reading. First half of your reading is going to look at the past up until this current moment in time. Second half of your reading is going to look at this current moment in time off into the future. Yes? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer, in the first half of your reading, you have the Hierophant. Interesting. Uh, I'm having to look past my own bias when it comes to the Hierophant here and really open, expand myself and open my mind to what this means. And the Hierophant in this situation for you, Cancer, is representing a physical structure. This is where those boundaries are coming. Okay. This is where the boundaries are coming in that I was picking up on with the Empress. Because unfortunately, the Empress can be an energy that doesn't necessarily hold too strong of a boundaries. It's more of a masculine energy that comes through with the boundaries here, okay? Doesn't mean that the feminine can't hold boundaries, but that's a little less, that's not really part of her nature overall. At least from my point of view. The Hierophant here, it's interesting because the Hierophant is, re is bringing forward this masculine principle of holding boundaries, but it's not coming through as the Emperor, which would be the Empress's counterpart. It's coming through as the Hierophant, which, is t t which to me is saying for you, Cancer, that whatever boundaries you are holding are directly connected to the tough lessons that you've learned in life up until now. That is excellent. A very excellent place to be. The Hierophant is coupled with the Ace of Wands. There you go. This is that inspiration. This is that new creative ability. This is that new creative project that you're working on. This is whatever it is that you're, the direction that you are moving in. This direction that you are moving in, Cancer, is supported by the hard boundaries you are putting in place, which are directly connected to the lessons you have learned in life up until now. And it's even those lessons that are helping influence you towards moving towards whatever creative direction this is for you. Excellent. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer, in the first half of your reading, you have the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Now, this is hunkering down. This is you holding your space. This is you holding your foundation, holding on to the structure that you have within you. I'm definitely getting a, 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 an earthly energy. Often the four of pentacles can represent a miserly energy, hoarding, fear of missing out or FOMO, holding on to something for dear life um, uh, for fear that you might lose out. But in this situation, Cancer, the four of pentacles is representing your fertile space in which something is growing and developing and you holding that space. This is an excellent thing. Four of pentacles is coupled with temperance okay so there's definitely a level of patience that I, I i feel that you are aware of cancer and literally as i'm looking at and channeling what i'm seeing with this four of pentacles energy is a little box excuse me that is like a garden you know how like when you're a kid or you know you have a small or not even just when you're a kid when you have like a small plot of land that you excuse me, that you want to turn into like a little, a little garden or something and you make like a little box out of it, right? That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a square situation. Squares represent foundation, right? Um, in which you're planting something. You've planted a seed. You're growing something. And the temperance energy here is you recognizing the need for balance and the need for patience and the need for nurturance. Again, this is all intrinsically connected to what the lessons that you have learned in the past that are now helping to influence your current energies, okay? This is beautiful. 
And this is you holding your foundation, holding the stability here with the Four of Pentacles, Cancer, because you know this is going to take time and effort and a lot of energy to grow into fruition, ultimately. So this is you being patient. This is you being loving. This is you being nurturing. I really like this. Your challenge, Cancer, in the first half of your reading here is the King of Pentacles now. Remaining firm, remaining steadfast, remaining committed, and remaining in an energy of holding those boundaries. Even though you have learned these lessons, Cancer, and you are in this position where you can hold these boundaries, you know, you, you fully understand the need for certain boundaries. Whereas in the past, you thought you could get away with certain things. You could thought you could let certain things slip. You thought you could allow certain people to get away with certain things. Now you have come out of that with the realization that these boundaries are necessary. And that is, this is what the King of Pentacles represents in you. It represents the solidity. It represents the solidifying of this lesson within you and you now standing firm in this. Okay, so like I was saying, even though you have solidly or sufficiently learned the lesson of these boundaries, it's still going to be your challenge to hold them, to be commit, to remain committed to these boundaries. Okay, it's not that big of a commit. It's not that big of a challenge. It feels slightly easy, but it's still going to be something that you are consciously challenged by. Okay, you're going to have to constantly consciously keep up this good work. All right. King of Pentacles in your challenge in the first half of your reading is coupled with the Seven of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Seven of Cups, not the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. You know, there's going to be a lot of confusion. There could be a lot of naysayers. I did just hear that. There could be a lot of what ifs that could be swirling around you at this time or throughout this process, Cancer. But this is exactly why you need to remain committed to holding this foundation and keeping this balance. Okay. The King of Pentacles is very similar to the King of Cups in this situation for you, Cancer, because the King of Pentacles is that solid foundation, just like the King of Cups in terms of uh, being emotionally solid with the King of Cups, like being able to weather any sort of emotional storm that comes around. For you, Cancer, this is you literally trying to focus on building something or focus on nurturing something into life. And so that King of Pentacles energy is the physical stability of you standing your ground, holding your own, and knowing what it is that you need to do to complete this, to allow this to grow. Don't allow any sort of changes in perspective or changes in environment or different opinions or different options to come in and confuse you and sway you from your position. Okay? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Cancer, in the first half of your reading, you have the Four of Wands. Now, this, for you, Cancer, is representing physical stability. So not, not, I'm sorry, not physical, spiritual stability. So not only do you have the physical stability of the Four of Pentacles, but you also have the spiritual stability, which is technically what I just heard is translating into your, the spiritual conviction. The actual energy, the drive, the, the force of will, the sheer willpower, the creative, flowing creative energy within you, constant flowing creative energy within you that is allowing you to move forward with this process, with this inspiration, with this project, whatnot, whatever. This is you being spiritually grounded, having spiritual foundation, and being spiritually ready. Okay? Beautiful. Four of Wands is coupled with the page, damn, the page of wands. There you go. Setting off on a new adventure, having a new story to tell, having a new narrative to share, going in a new creative project or, or process or, or direction. There it is right there. The spiritual foundation. You got it. And that's leading you forward. That's beautiful. Excellent, Cancer. I really like this energy for you. Word. Let's move forward here. Getting into the second half of your reading. Yes, so we're going to be looking at the current energy and off into the future a little bit. Yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer. In the second half of your reading, you have the Ace of Pentacles. This is a brand new beginning. This is a brand new opportunity. But I also feel like this is the physical seed of what it is you are planting that it is you wish to nurture and grow into life. This is the physical seed that you're planting into your garden. That's represented by this four of pentacles here, okay? 
beautiful cancer. Oh my God, Ace of Pentacles is coupled with the Two of Pentacles. There you go. Okay, so you've planted the seed and now this is you moving forward with how do you allow this seed to grow? How do you balance out your situation physically? Recognize, Cancer, that you do have this temperance energy. This is the spiritual balance, the spiritual patience, yes? Now, with the Ace of Pentacles coupled or clarified or coupled with the Two of Pentacles here, this is you bringing that actual physical balance into practice. And it is all within the realm of nurturing this physical seed that you are planting, that you are giving life to, that you are growing, okay? Excellent. I really like that. That is that right there, especially in the position that it's in, being in the second half of your reading, which is looking at the current energy and off into the future. I really love that you went from the Ace of Pentacles to the Two of Pentacles because this is acknowledging the fact, Cancer, that you are in the process of planting the seed. And for some of you, this is you being, you getting into the process of, okay, knowing that you want to plant the seed and you want it to grow. So you may even be doing some research at this point in like, okay, how do I allow this to grow? What circumstances do I need? What do I need to bring into practice here to allow this seed to grow before you even plant it? That's beautiful. But also it's showing you making progress, going from the ace either getting into the process of planting it or having already planting it and now doing what is necessary to allow it to grow from the ace to the two. Beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer, in the second half of your reading, you have the seven of pentacles. Look at this. Nurturance. Okay. I'm hearing nurturance and grounding. There is so much I could call it this. For some of you, for many of you, especially if you're connecting with me, if you're resonating with me on this channel, there is so much spiritual wisdom that is flowing through you, that is allowing you to be in a place to really get this thing off the ground this time. The Seven of Pentacles is representing your spiritual awareness that is translating into the physical know-how of how to grow and cultivate a certain crop. I'm hearing, I'm literally hearing Cancer, you have the space within you. You have the ability within you. You have the expertise and that expertise is coming from this Hierophant energy from the first half of your reading, okay? The tough lessons that you've learned in life up until this point that you are now putting into practice. Excellent. Seven of Pentacles is coupled with the sun, I mean, can, like clarity, the clarity, Cancer, you know, you know exactly how to grow this plant or grow this crop now. You know exactly how to cultivate this now. And that doesn't mean that you have every single one of the answers, but you still have a sufficient amount of wherewithal and know-how to get the job done. You've seen the bigger picture. You know what it is you're looking at and you know what it is you're about to do and who it is you are. Ooh, King of Pentacles. Yes, Cancer. Y'all better do it. Your, your challenge here, Cancer, in the second half of your reading. The Knight of Cups. Uh, okay, so the, the challenge here for you in the current energy moving forward and through the future is continuing to allow yourself to follow your heart. And that's where some of these naysayers or, or public opinion or the confusion may, have, may come in that was to being talked about previously with the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Because there could be some around you or there could be some individuals that are associated with you or that are following you, this, that, and the third, that might try to sway you, that might try to make you doubt what's in your heart or the direction that you're moving in. But your heart is your greatest ally here. And intrinsically, Cancer, I really feel like you know that. So your challenge in the current energy moving off into the future is to continue to move forward with your heart. And it's your king of pentacles foundation and who it is you know that you are or what it is you know that you want to do or what it is you know that you have to bring to the table that is allowing you to continue to follow your heart. It's providing you with the foundation to continue follow your heart. Do not allow anybody to, 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 to question you or get you to question what's within your heart, okay? The, the, the Knight of Cups, excuse me, is coupled with the Knight of Wands. There you go, Cancer. Your challenge is to follow your heart and continue to be the trailblazer that you are have set out to be in this way. 
Again, it doesn't feel like this is extra super challenging. The challenge about this aspect is to follow through, period. You want to boil it down to anything, you can boil it down to that. The challenge here, Cancer, is just to follow through. Beautiful. A lot of, in a lot of ways, that's easier said than done. But honestly, Cancer, I feel like you've got such a spiritual foundation here that whereas the normal person, let's go ahead and call him a muggle, right? The average person would say, that's easier said than done. Good luck with that one. I don't know about that. And you're sitting there like, yeah, of course it's possible. Boop. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Cancer. Ooh, the devil or the shadow side. I feel like this is, an this is an element of you facing the devil head on. And this could be you um, moving in a creative direction or an expressive direction that helps other people face the devil within themselves. That's what I'm getting from the devil for you right now, Cancer. Confronting the devil. Your energy is allowing people to face certain devilish aspects within themselves. And that is definitely not something that you should shy away from, ever. The devil is coupled with the Four of Swords. Mm. Mm. Really think about it. Question the devil. Getting people to question the devil or the devilish energies or devilish tendencies within themselves. This is you doing what it is you're doing naturally, faith, living up to the challenge of following your heart and being some sort of trailblazer or light worker or torchbearer. And getting people to stop and question certain devilish toxic energies, toxic attachments, toxic ties, whatnot, whatever. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I am going to close this reading out for you, Cancer, and I am being guided to go with the Lightworker Oracle for you. Yes? Excellent. So we're going to close this out. I'm going to give this five shuffles here. One. Let's do it over here. This is two. Three. Closing Oracle Guidance from a Cancerian's Please Spirit. For this monthly message, this is four. And this is five. Closing Oracle Guidance from a Cancer's Please Spirit. This is a beautiful card. Card number 36. Reassurance <clears throat> of the Golden Light. Three and six boil down to a nine. A nine is an ending. I, I, whatever it is that you're developing, you're growing, you're nurturing, nurturing into existence, Cancer, is really help bringing some endings to certain situations, which is a good thing. Because this, these endings, Cancer, are going to lead to further completions. And I will say what it feels like here is you are going to have a direct energetic hand in that. Whether you realize it or not, whether you want to take responsibility for that or you want to accept accolades or whatnot, whatever, that's up, that really doesn't matter. Because you're just going to be naturally moving in a direction or doing certain things that is going to end up in this anyway. Whether you want to take any sort of responsibility for that or not, that really doesn't matter, okay? Many, and, and the reason I feel like I need to say that or I'm feeling guided to say that is many of you don't even want to be recognized for that. You are just following through with what you feel is right in your heart and that's all that is necessary. That's all you need. You don't need the accolades. Six of Wands, which is funny. But you don't need them. You may not even necessarily want them. And that's okay. Very much working behind the scenes, you know? Very much don't mind the man behind the curtain, but this man behind the curtain ain't a fraud when it comes to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go. That was a Wizard of Oz reference if you didn't get it. But anyway, card number, th oh wait, hold on, hold on. 36, Eric, not 39. There we go. Reassurance of the golden light. The golden light comes to you as a gift of grace and reassurance. It is an embrace from the universe, an expression of divine comfort and a sign of hope. 
When the golden light appears, it is a sign that everything in your life, even the most troubling matters, is going to work out perfectly. They are held in the graceful hand of the divine and will be resolved more swiftly and beautifully than you might expect. Okay, that's it. They're telling me. Yes. All right, kids, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really, really hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so freaking much. Again, if you would like to get a personal reading for, with me, I am available for that. All of the information is in the description box below. Also, if you're new here, please make sure to consider subscribing. Leave your comments down in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys. And definitely make sure to smash that like button for me. Also, join us over on Patreon if you would like to get some extra readings from me and or if you would just like to support the channel. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month. Uh, well, very, very soon. Let's just say that. Very, very soon. Yeah? Excellent. Take care. Bye. <laughs>